in Katowice, wanting to run it back and join his fellow Poles in the playoffs. Gamer Legion going to be starting out on defense. They've got two players with duelies, Snacks and Isaac, wielding those weapons. And Taroa going to be attacking into it. Acor outside of the big garage has spotted nothing just yet. No information. Any little jiggle, though, would give it away. And there he sees Nikodaz. He's going to duel a little bit more, feeling frisky, but not committing to the fight. Acor, couple of shots going outside and but it's all about this push and ramp and it's heroic that have come out on top with the first two kills of the pistol round and, and they're losing all these slow, fights but he's got it yeah they're out of position now though isaac better deliver something special if they want a chance to get back into this tess and kicks in though they just say screw it we're not even going to bother with this so we're just going to head to the upper bomb site and isaac's got to shift up the vents they know his position they know his location and it's all over it's a pistol round for heroic they continue where they left off on mirage which is strong victories. Yeah, just cutting through a gamer legion who did not get into Mirage, so let's not beat around the bush. It was not pretty to watch whatsoever, and you can sometimes fall asleep at the wheel once you get bashed around that hard. You're not in the series, and Heroic are all fired up. Momentum is with them. And this is an easy pistol round for the most part. Presence outside, lures Snacks into an investigation towards Trophy Room. He gets picked off on the push. All the defense gets pushed off on their aggressive plays and just entirely shut down. Also smoked cross. Heroic move with them. It's Tessas clearing close positions at red. Not spotting anything, but Acor has found a bit of a Ooh. gap in that smoke. And Aww. he's just come away off it just as it was about to prove useful. Kicks out and Tessas get down secret. And no one else is, no one's shifted because Acor didn't get that information, hasn't heard footsteps. They're just, they're just kind of calling a bluff. They know the smoke wall was up. They know there's a chance somebody got the secret. But with light weaponry, diminished resources, they don't exactly think sending one player downstairs is going to do a whole lot. So choosing to take advantage and choosing to try and stop the second prong of the attack, which would come towards ramp room to join up in the lower bomb site. But Heroic's going in the other direction. Yeah, the, it, there's lots of options available to Heroic with 45 seconds left, but if they do commit into the ramp room, this booby trap, it looks deadly. This looks like it could stop them and break apart multiple players for Heroic. So that's the first player down, but it lures them into a false sense of security, and it's awkward here. Nade's bouncing off your opponent's head. You walk right into the trap of multiple players, and it's worked out perfectly for Gamer Legion, just as they, as they had hoped for. And now Tess is running back up that ramp. It's Acor that falls down, and a 2v2 established off the back of that as we head into the final 20 seconds. Heroic trying to get this one back, but it's not going to happen for them. Isaac and Ball come swinging, and Gamer Legion, I love that ramp setup. Yeah, what a beautiful round from them. I, it's helped out, obviously. A Molotov thrown by Heroic actually hits a teammate in the back and falls just in the pathing they'd like to take to wrap wide around those boxes, so it really restricts them coming out of ramp room. Everything went wrong. That Molotov right there. But certainly when you get that first kill, it's almost like a false sense of confidence. The two SMGs pounce after that, and the trap is laid and sprung perfect. And now, off the back of that, Heroic are down to just pistols because they didn't get the bomb plant. They didn't get that extra cash. Not just any pistols, Dinko. They're down to Glocks. Yep, the flock of Glocks return. And they're not going to do much. We've seen a couple of full USP rounds in this tournament, but yet to see the Glocks prevail. Maybe there's a first time for everything. Well, there certainly is a first time for everything, but not today. Not for these. And it's a difficult shot here for Acord to land. <laughs> but he's going uh, for it. I hope Nerds wins that fight. <laughs> I just, just out of pure comedy. Bang. Oh. Gets away from that, actually. Yeah, go back for more. Keep going. Keep peppering him. Shake that clock at him. Nobody Show push. Him what you got. Let the fight take its course. Uh, my go. How long did it take to kill Nerds? <laughs> <laughs> He's even looking up and giving him a smile. He's like, yeah, that was awkward for all of us. Yeah, all right. Involved. Cool. I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> yeah, let's be done with that. But no the thing more. is, Heroic don't even have enough money for a good buy off the back of a full eco. So they really have been kind of screwed over at the start of this half. Yeah, descending to Galil's just for utility. Nikodaz will likely go down to a Tech 9 or an SMG. A Deagle, excuse me. 
but not the prettiest thing in the world. Still, they have an AK-47 on Nerds, and we know that can be a deciding factor in any round. Yeah, it can be enough. It can definitely be enough. And he's heading towards ramp. Utility stops him from continuing his run, so he'll stand behind that until it's disappeared. But here he goes. Nerds is looking to strike immediately, and it's worked out. Kio is off the top, ripped open by Nerds, and that's an opening down to that B bomb site. And Nerds is going to run with it. He's sprinting, breaking the windows. Isaac hears that and knows he has to position himself accordingly. But Heroic have not committed further into this. Snacks is at the double doors. Heroic. They are actually calling this off. They're going back up, leaving Nerds in the lower site and looking for a pathway to A instead. And there's three players downstairs. Oh, when do they get the realization? It's coming in way too late. They're still committed. It's all Acor, and it's a scout. It's not an op, and it's oh. a first shot missed. Position given up. He gets the tag on the follow-up, but you're not going to get a second chance when Tessas is that close. Yeah, a couple of tags there, but he really needs your teammates in a competitive position if they are to do anything about this. And Volt and Snacks were all the way over at Secret. No kit available on either of these two players, and Nertz is still down on B. This is a horrifying round for Kioz. He's he's going to feel terrible right now watching this go down. I, he, he didn't have the information of... Uh, he didn't realize Nertz was getting that close to him, so the smoke drop is, is absolutely worthless. But he knows that his death caused a mass over-rotation that puts them out of position to handle Heroic's attack. So if you're Kioz and you're dead here, this, this last minute is just you've been the entire weight of responsibility of that failure on your shoulders that you have to consider as the round comes to a close. But we said it at the start of the round. Often it can be enough to have an AK in Nertz's hands, and we just seen what he can do with it. One kill, and you cause such a rotation. And for good reason. I mean, they're 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 committing. All signs say committing to the lower bomb site. Nertz is in deep. Utility is being stepped. Or utility is being used. Steps being made. Gamer Legion has no choice but to respect the fact that that over bombsite could have been overrun. They'll get another crack at it here. Kia's an identical buy. Utility being tossed through those skylights. Heroic have put out that execute towards outside too with a smoke wall being created for Tessas to work with. He's been getting space. Game Religion have not tried to disrupt them outside. So you're giving them the access point to Secret if they desire to take it. And Snacks is just watching, making sure they don't come into the big garage. Follow-up smokes there too. So they're going to prolong the outside control, showing that this is the case for the smokes. Oh. And they get blown open. And Acor will blow away Tessas. Oh, that feature is so crazy. I love it. <laughs> it's made it very exciting. Oh, so he's going to come through the smoke. Snacks, wrong direction, wrong direction. And flashbang at the same time. And Snacks is looking towards Mini. Looking to help out towards Upper and just gets trucked. Yeah, it's now falling back here for Heroic. Under a minute left. The time is starting to run thin. And they haven't really got too far. That secret play from Kicksand. Wait, but they have they have one more smoke on Nerds. They remember they they smoked wall. They they did a smoke wall and then they refreshed it as well. So there's a chance Acor can have impact if he stays outside and they try and cross secret. He can actually handle this, especially considering Isaac and Volt are here as well. But if they go A main, that's the double setup ready to deal with that. They could still dodge the crosshair of Acor, but it's the double setup in main that was set up, but that's been changed now. Isaac's going to play towards Unbreakable instead, and he's got a decent enough angle. It just comes down to timing on when Heroic decide to pounce, and now three players spotted. Volt readies himself and steadies for a double kill. Nikodos stepping up for Heroic in his stead, and with 13 seconds left, Acor will find him packed in this round. Just like the second round, it's a perfect defensive call for Gamer Legion. Op to watch the cross, two towards Mini. Even though Isaac goes down at credit with that peak, he gets information, and you'll never expect a second player in Mini. Just a well put together round from everyone on Gamer Legion. The opening pick from Acor, and this from Volt, an important double kill, and Acor's in position to shut him down. Yeah, nice shots from Acor. Gets into position in the dying embers. Mac 10 sprinting out towards Volt, who has to descend into the back of the bomb site. Tessas overruns him, but it's strong from Isaac. He does not fall over. And this A side is not going to fall at the hands of the attack of Heroic. Speed was the name of the game. And unfortunately for Heroic, it's a quick finish to a round loss. Yeah, a critical step through the smoke from Mini Garage as well. It's coming through because Volt had just gone down. No head armor. The MAC-10 took him out with ease. Snacks holding the angle. Misses a chance and kicks and had a couple cracks at it. Flashed, blinded, and Snacks is going to escape.
Yep, screen filled with white. Kixan is going to stay towards red. Oh, good change up in position. Even better headshot for Kixan. That was ruthless the way he hunted that down. That up bullet sizzles right past him through the wall. Acor's having himself a good start to this map. Five and three, but impact in the last two. Spotted now. Kixan's got to deal with multiple different positions. First is Kios, and down close, but headshot will land, and Gamer Legion will progress their scoreline to four. How's the money looking, Jason, for Heroic? It's not the prettiest thing in the world. Uh, again, you could you could force up a Hero AK-47 if you're not going to force up on everyone else. And indeed, Tessas does buy that, buys all the way down. So I'm curious what the other players will come out with. It was Tessas at like 4,000-something. And then everyone else sitting right around 2,000. So kind of a weird situation to be in. So an AK for Tessas it is, and a couple of pistols purchased around it. But Heroic are hoping for ramp success again. Kios. Yeah, but remember, if you're Kios and you'd already failed once, you know you're going to get tested again at some point in this half. Heroic's yeah. going to see if you're having a bad game. Well, let's see if he is. He's got help of Volt coming in. Kios changing position. I was mentioning before this series, he gets in his own head sometimes, and this is better from him. Good first kill. That AK passes into the hands of Shush, and Kios has done his job. Yeah, Volt not even needed. They back away from that fight, want nothing to do with it. But again, no utility. You just have this AK-47. So there's really not a lot of options. At some point, it's just bait the pistols. See what you can do. Well, the pistols are ready to pounce in the A-bomb site. The goal here for Heroic, obviously, is to try and get a bomb plant. Whether or not they can get that is a different story. Acor, nice shot. Track Shush outside. That was the one AK-47 left, and this setup is so strong. A triangle of death. You go into this one, you go and disappear. Five to two. Gamer Legion looking good on the CT side. And now they get to a point of comfort, finally, for Gamer Legion. They, they've been they've been harassed a little bit by Heroic, uh, losing the pistol, but winning the second, losing the fourth round as well. Uh, they've had a couple rounds that have, that have kind of kept them from getting this comfort, but they finally do have it, and that's the comfort of having money behind this buy, being able to buy two rounds in a row, if, even if you lose on the CT side nuke. Plenty of utility. Everyone's got Molotovs, nades, and smokes, and all of a sudden, you start to feel a lot more confident to open up rounds as the defense. I mean, this feels more the first time... This feels like the first time Game of Legends would be confident and comfortable... Since Overpass? Since Overpass, yeah. <laughs> it's like been a very long time since they've had any sort of foothold in this series. Yeah, far less disparity here on Nuke. It's about a 50% win rate in the last three months for Heroic. For Gamer Legion, it's 40%, so pretty neck and neck to contend with in this third map. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfect map to decide this matchup on. And it is going to be heartbreaking for whichever team comes out with a loss on Nuke. They're out of Katowice. The other will have another chance, the final chance to make it into the Spodak for the playoffs, that storied arena here in Katowice. And Vault dives down into the hut. He's got a chance to take out the first player if he was to commit around that corner, and he might because his teammate's coming through ramp as well. It's a crunch, a lobby crunch in this round for Gamer Legion, and that's a one for one. Acor looking to break open that smoke again and find Tessas, who wisely steps back into cover. The incendiary goes down, and that's actually going to hold Tessas behind it, and oh, he sticks around, and for good reason, because he catches Kios, and that gives Heroic the player advantage, and Tessas does not commit to secret. He is going to move forward into the garage, and it's a change-up for Tessas, and he's got Acor's space not to play with. Acor's not even considering garage. Yeah, this could be an absolutely devastating move, but now he's considering it. Now he's going back. He's looking the right direction. Will Tessas walk into him? Timing! Oh, Acor looks back, but not enough time to react and get ready for Tessas. That headshot from the day, and he's opened this round right up for Heroic, and they're looking to make their way out into the top hut. It's Shush coming out, sweeping away Isaac under the rug, and that'll be the round for Heroic. Those legacy Heroic players still got some game. Shush and Tessas combined for all four kills in this round, and it's Tessas who cracks open the upper bomb site by getting kills outside, handling and controlling that part of the map, essentially in a 1v2. And he works some magic, it's just snacks. So Heroic get a third round on the board. It's a dangerous game toying with those smokes, and that's the back and forth between Acor with the op, breaking smokes outside, trying to get a pick. Tess is peeking around the edge of it to find a player at the single box outside. That's a well-constructed round from Heroic. And they're within two.
Nice clean shots from those legacy heroic players, as you were mentioning, Jason. Taking over the round three and for heroic, Gamble Legion can continue to buy. And the AWP is out for Acor. M4 is with it, plenty of utility. Second crack of the whip here. And again, the same smokes for Heroic sent out, and they cross in behind Red this time. Snatch has thrown a change up into it, but it's been detected. Tessus has seen it. He'll send that nade in and try and remove Snacks with utility. Yeah, but it's good on Snacks to throw show presence. Ooh, Acor's up. They Misses switch the it shot. over to Ramp Room. He's got to back away now. Missed the shot, and he knows they're going to press in. So Ramp controlled by Heroic, and they're going to attack under Heaven. Oh, quickest rotation is Kios, and it's just one from Hell. Oh, he would have liked more, but it's not going to happen. Nerds, how has he got that one? How does he have the conscious mind to look for that second kill? Snacks came back to look for him, and now Tess is trying to get through main. It's Isaac holding this, seeing the shadow, taking Tess's out of the round, but not ready for kick sound. Already in the sight, an execution on the two defensive players inside of this A-bomb site. And Acor is at secret with a big green, trying to come on up through it. But it's such a difficult round ahead of him. If he wanted to go for this, I just don't think he will. Yeah, I think Acor is going to be frustrated he didn't hit that first shot. That, that was everything. That gave up so much ground. I don't think Snacks was prepared for that follow-up fight. I don't think there was a world in which he thought Nerds would be that aggressive and that fast about it. But you got to say, much like much like Mirage, where Heroic was just able to batter down the A bomb site each and every time they wanted to, this is just Heroic getting getting kills towards ramp, taking map control and ramp, taking control outside, finding kills outside, and then ending at the upper bomb site, just causing weakness in the defense by attacking elsewhere, and then just focusing everyone to split in towards upper. And Gamer Legion's having a really tough time. When these rounds aren't clean in their favor, when they're not getting the opening kill or a good advantage on the initial contact, they're having a real tough time holding onto the bomb site. Yeah, once it gets into a bloody brawl, we haven't seen Gamer Legion be able to stand on their feet. Heroic, definitely the better and the it's, dirty fighting. It's credit to Heroic. They're doing individuals are doing a really good job playing off of each other's success. When someone's getting a kill in ramp room, when someone's getting it out, outside, like you can see it there. The, the mini player Isaac is able to get one kill on, on, on Tessa's working outside, but someone's already stepped through the door. Like while that's happening. So they know they can apply so much pressure to a mini player where Gamer Legion has put somebody most rounds in this half so far. So Heroic reading things really well and making the necessary plays to ensure that individuals can't multi-kill, can't claw themselves back into the round. Yeah, and Gamer Legion have a difficult round ahead of them because it's not like they have all of the resources they would like. They've got some weaknesses here. In particular, the lack of utility across the board on this CT side. Some players have nothing. This is what I mentioned, the comfort of having like nades and molotovs and, and smokes to block off choke points, especially early in rounds to stop some kind of an upper bust. No longer have that comfort. You can see Gamer Legion as well dropping an HE grenade outside for Acor to use moving oh. forward into the future, and it's a vent drop. Nerds is already down. And it's super quiet to a shift descent down that ladder. And you've got to realize if you're at Gamer Legion, there's a possibility a player's got down that vent, so you must have that in the back of your mind. Whether or not they're going to be able to adapt to it is a different story because Nertz is down here alone. No one's made the rotation to chase after him. It would be a death sentence to go down that vent if he was standing around there. So Gamer Legion, do not run the risk. They've had some success towards ramp. That's some good damage through the hut. Shush less than pleased about that. Question now becomes, how do you join up with Nerds? He's like, guys, I'm... He made it through. He's like, it's chill down here. Everyone he's, come join up. Oh my goodness, he's made it all the way through decon. There's two players in ramp. Now again, like I said, they should realize there could be a player down here. You can see with that MP9, Kios is considering it, but when you're going up against one of the sharpest riflers in the world, and you've got an MP9, you better hope he's looking the wrong way. And that's exactly what happens. Kios gets that headshot. Now Acor watching that cross. Kios better not peek. Enough distraction set up, and it's a wonderful ramp hold between the two Gamer Legion players. Smoke goes down, and Nikodaz cannot cross without worrying about bullets coming through that smoke. He sustained a lot of damage in his initial Ooh. fight, and he's actually wrapped around. He's actually made it past, but look at this. Snacks is ever elusive. He comes around the backside, knocks out uh, Nikodaz, and Tessis is now left in a 1v4. He'll sprint, and not the prettiest brave Isaac, but effective in the end. It's the job done. Banger shot on Acor, though. Op is still recovered and passed over. Good defense over towards ramp. You, you can tell when a player's coming up ramp like that, you have to know that there's a second prong coming towards you as well. So Acor stays heads up. Good kill from Kios. Good follow-up as well. Simultaneous synchronized fragging over in ramp room. And Gamer Legion 
still nursing this lead, still preserving it and keeping it. But for, well, they're going to, to leave this half at least, at a minimum, tied up. But they want to go into the second with a lead. And they could grab eight rounds out of this half. Tessa starts off round 11 with an opening on Snacks. Volt is quick to answer back to the death of his in-game leader, and he wants more. Volt up on top of the hut, gets another kill while blinded, but Tessus is too much to handle, so best leave that to Isaac. It's a great flank, though. This is fantastic, isn't it? Keo's got this going early, and here's the fight against Nikodaz, who wasn't quite ready for it, and now Shoes feels uncomfortable planting that bomb, and it will be the lead for Gamer Legion, but how much can they get out of this? Can they get all eight rounds? Another smoke break, and without that plant, they've got a good advantage to get eight rounds in this because the extra 800 bucks would have gone a long way for Heroic. Only really one player feels like they can afford an AK-47. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a test of what Heroic can bring out. Such an impressive run in Katowice for Heroic, even though they're still quite a ways away from the playoffs, the expectations for them were very, very low. A dominant play in stage, huge upset over world number one Vitality. And they've run into a hot Gamer Legion as well. Heroic will have come into this competition with pragmatic expectations, but I think Nerds is ever confident, and he gave that interview where he said, I might be delusional, but I think we can make it to the Spodek. And they've still got that fighting chance today. And they're gonna be sitting back against the Gamer Legion. They've got to feel like they can beat. I mean, if it wasn't for a career day from Monacy, they might already be in the Spodek. They Isn't might be crazy, guaranteed yeah. for a spot in the Spodek. An absolutely mental game from Monacy on the opening day of the group stage. One of the greatest Prevented. performances on LAN in CS2 to date. So, yeah. yeah, you can't do too much about that one. One Still, player's turning it up. None of that matters if Heroic can't win this one. Yeah, Tech 9s, Mac 10s, and an AK-47 to boot in this last round of the first half. And Acor, he's caught between many different thoughts here, and he's decided he'll focus on red. Tessas goes early, and he goes down. And that's a huge kill, because Tessas has been having the number outside. Tessas has done great work for Heroic in this outer yard, but this time shut down with just the Tech-9. Nikodaz can't still cross. He seems a little nervous. Molotov in towards Hut. Attack is going to come out Squeak Door. They can drop. Yes, they can. They can get down that vent. Oh, a noise made from Nerds on the descent, running through. <laughs> oh, Kios, he knows. Once you make that much noise on the metal, he's coming after you. He's got the metal detector out. That AK-47 searching for more headshots. It's got a bit of potency to it, but kicks in. He's got that tech nine. He kicks into gear. Oh, nearly another inside <laughs> of the connector. But it's Gamer Legion that lead the way. A dream here for Snacks is coming. Reality, if they can close this map, they've got the deciding matchup ready for them later today.
Well, it's been eight years since Snacks played inside the Spodex, seven years since he played in front of a Polish crowd, and the last active member of the Polish plow has his team five rounds away from the playoffs of IEM Katowice 2024. One last hurdle, one last half, and then he's got a contest later today to see if he can make it all the way. What a journey it would be. Snacks has given us so many moments throughout CSGO history. And now he's looking to kick off the first championship in Katowice in a brand new game, a new game, CS2. And it's underway for the second half. Heroic looking to spoil that Polish party and knock them out here and now. Smoke going out towards me. Door blown open, Nerf swinging out, and a headshot instantly brings down Snacks. That's why we hype up Snacks, just so he can get his head ripped clean off. Good <laughs> shot from Nerts. Kicks it up on top of the hut. has got a lot of pressure. Good headshot from Kicks, and this is fantastic. Heroic Damn. come in and assassinate Gamer Legion at the start of the second. Let's not do this. Let's not have it back to Mirage where, her, where, where Gamer Legion don't even get to smell the bomb sites. They get stopped cold in each and every choke point. That is a clean and efficient pistol round powered by Nerds. Yeah, and it's got to be Snacks today on this T side too. He's got to finish this map strong with a good call. It's a new role for him. It's a new in-game leadership role inside of this Gamer Legion team. He's got to go up against the plucky new in-game leader in Kixan, who's been given a new project and a lot of weapons of destruction on his team too. And they've looked pretty sharp for Heroic, considering they are a brand new roster. And they're going up against full Glocks here, so you'll see them get six rounds. You mentioned that decider game later on. It's either against G2 or Monty the winner will play. Looking like G2. Definitely looking like G2. It's a big T half there on Anubis. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. Looking like G2 at the moment. Maybe Monty's got something left in the tank. Okay, a little bit of chaos introduced in the round. Those Glocks, okay, they get shut down pretty much right as I get started. But uh, could have gotten sketchy. Regardless, well handled from Heroic as they storm to the outer yard to shut things down. It's a two-round lead as AK-47s come out for Gamer Legion. Yeah, it can't be bad the two kills going against you, but uh, Gamer Legion going to be picking up AKs, as you mentioned. No AWP yet. So just rifles out across that board. And a big player, a big talking point from Mirage as to why Gamer Legion couldn't get anywhere was Shush. When he moves over to the CT side, man, he becomes a different beast. He can be so difficult to break apart. Gotta hope for a similar performance on Nuke. Let's see what we're gonna get out of this T side first. Quick approach from Snacks trying to dance with death as he peeks around the hot corner. Nothing found yet. And Tessis is the ramp player here for Heroic, and he's about to have a whole lot of action. Yeah, very simplified round. Grouped up behind the smoke and ramp room, either crossing through it or letting it fade first. Deep flashbang oh, so they sick. can pull through. Tess is at the off angle, has to drop. And Nico does swings out from hell. Oh, good headshot. And he gets behind cover too. That's important for Nico to get going in the CT side. He's had a tough first half. And this rotation down to the lower bomb side. It kicks hand out towards decontamination. And he has <laughs> been decontaminated. Acor with that headshot annihilates him completely. And Tessas has to do everything. That bomb goes into a risky position. But Volk comes out with it still intact. And now the rotation down Can't towards plant. decon. Shush is he's going to it in the open. Shush swings out and he denies that. And takes the life away from Volt. Second kill from Shush. And just as I mentioned him, he moves to that CT side. And he makes moves on Gamer Legion. It's just Isaac left. 1v3, and this clutch does not look realistic. He would have to make an incredible play to somehow separate these fights into 1v1s. And Heroic don't let these rounds slip often. You got Nikodaz out ramp, Nerds just below, and inside of this site, the ever-present Shush. You should never win this round. Although Isaac seems to have an idea of where a likely position is for Nerds. 20 seconds, though. Yeah, it hasn't made a move yet. It's the problem. Gotta get a double really fast here, and there's the first chance, and he does not pass it. Shush hits that headshot, and a triple. Shush is gonna get the highlight reel, right? Nikodaz is very fortunate with his late peak in ramp room to get one kill and survive, but it's the presence from Tess's over on control side that really stalls this out. The bomb has to go hunt him down. The bomb has to jump into the window right here to eliminate him, and that's about time for Shush to arrive to use the deep Defensive smoke deployed earlier by Kixon to wrap into the bomb site, where Gamer Legion simply can't stop him. Simply can't stop him because they don't have the manpower to watch everything. Oh, ho, ho, bombardment a utility. Nice try on the vent dive. But Nico does, even while blinded, can see right through you. Yeah, imagine getting unblinded and be like, oh, I'll take a triple. 
That's exactly what I was hoping for. Just as we designed it. The game is tied. The game is completely tied, and Heroic have full momentum in the second half. This is a very convincing CT side start as well. Got to be concerned for Gamer Legion. We saw them on, on Overpass able to work the map, able to find opening kills in such a large map. Isaac in positions to lurk aggressively towards a bomb site. Defense getting fooled as to where the ending was. You can throw a fake on one side, pull them over, and Isaac's got you set up on the other side of the map. Nuke is just so much more restricted than that. We'll see what Gamer Legion can adapt into, but their first gun round is just a five-man hit towards ramp room. If they can't find success outside, I think they're going to have really tough defenses to break through. Oh, Isaac. He's not got the easiest round ahead of him here. Maybe he can get one. That's about all I'll give him, and not even that. So, game is tied at eight apiece. Money available for rifle purchase out for Gamer Legion. But they've got to start winning rounds real soon. Otherwise, they could just give this on over to Heroic, who are looking fantastic on this CT side. Yeah. Not much you can do about that. No, nothing you can do about that. Nothing at all. Timeout taken from Gamer Legion, their second. Ash getting into the conversation with the boys, talking about how we want to play Nuke, what we can do moving forward. They conducted all the research last night, this morning, yeah, coming snacks. up with some options for Snacks to roll through. Yeah, he's looking through the pages there, Snacks. He's tossed that aside, ready to focus up yet again here on this CT, or rather T affair. Former IAM Katowice champion. Responsibility of calling a good T half to get them and contention for a playoff spot falls on his shoulders. He's already got his name engraved in the trophy once. Looking to have another crack at it. And a banner above him in the Hall of Heroes. And he's looking to bring a, a bunch of these youngsters with him. But that's still a long way off. Still lost to do. And Nikodos, he's gone out towards red. It's a good early position here to disrupt Gamer Legion completely. If they commit around that corner, Nikodos could end Nerds, it. And Nerds is going to be in tandem. Oh, no. This does feel brutal, doesn't it, with this setup. Nerds is distracted about that pump through the doorway, and Snacks is the player that's done it. He's got through that smoke. Oh, ho, ho, Snacks, he appears. And it's always difficult to deal with him inside of those smokes, and that outside fight is set up because of Snacks' distraction, because of his kill, and now it's much better from Gamer Legion. They've come to play in this T round, but Kicksand sees Kios, seizes his chance with that as an AK-47 upgrade, a 2v3. Let's not count them out of this just yet. I love that. Vintage snacks in that round. Using a smoke in a very different way, disappearing, reappearing on the other side where Nerts would never expect it. Good setup, good assistance outside. Kicks in. Uh-oh, they're lined up a little bit. Gets the first headshot immediately, traded off. All now it's all about finding Tesses. Yeah, he sees everybody. He absolutely sees everything that's coming his way, and Tessus is just trying to figure out what is the best move he can make. He can hear them coming towards him. He can oh. hear them in the ramp room, and now Tessus could end this round right here. Tessus on the double! Devastation from the Dane! What was it? Why did they lose their composure? Footsteps, running, moving so fast. Tessus got all the information they, that he needed. This round was put together so well. This backstab from Snacks, Molly forces Nikodaz out in the open, Kios does work in lobby. Gamer Legion had this in control, and just right at the end gets so flustered and speed things up to a point where they can't react to Tess's. Oh my god, that is such a heartbreaker. That is a backbreaker. I think that's why we're seeing this third time out. That can tilt you off the face of the earth. Oh, it's so tough to swallow if you're Gamer Legion after such a good start to the round. You had it. You had that round in the palm of your hand. A little bit of an experience showing right at the end of it in the 2v1. But man, it's experience for Tessus, isn't it? Staying composed and you hear those steps coming towards you, realizing I can get into a position here to get a multi-kill. Yeah, how nice. They're coming right at me. Oh, and he will remember last year. He will remember that grand final showing inside of the Spodek. A loss to G2. As many a final heroic were unable to pick up. And he would love the chance to return to the playoffs. Smokes outside. Molotov to delay the cross. Doors blown open. I wonder if they spotted Nikodaz. It looked like they might have been there fast enough to see him. 
Well, after that, Gamer Legion are put down to Mac 10s and a Tech 9 alongside two AK 47s. And that play is not going <laughs> to net you a kill, but what is happening inside of Squeaky? It's absolute chaos, pandemonium inside of the site at the moment. And this is heroic looking good, though. One player up, but that's drawn back. Important kill for Volt to connect on Nerds. But both of those remaining Gamer Legion players are damaged goods, right? They've taken so much damage in this round, and Tessus is in the lobby again. This is a critical fight. Volt didn't see him cross over, so Tessus has found some standing. Bomb has dropped. Is it in the vent? At the vent? It's just, just outside. All righty, let's see how Gamer Legion work this clutch back. It's on them to find the pathway back to that bomb, and to get it into their hands yet again. And Testus' position is so advanced, so aggressive to get into the lobby. He could be the absolute madman that could unravel it all again. It's the HP that's the concern for the Gamer Legion, guys. Like, you have to be, you have to know exactly what you're going into. Isaac is on the investigative mission with that low HP. He can Time. be a warning system. Yeah, they're okay for now still. 20 seconds, about to not be okay. Yeah, because they're going to have to grab that bomb and get to the bomb site. They've done a very good job, actually, avoiding Tessus. They make some noise. Weapons being dropped in the vents. That's going to alert Tessus. That gets him activated. That gets him on the move. Seven seconds. He knows he can try and deny this. There's the kill. And surely he gets this second shortly. Isaac is so low on health. Six HP, and he's not going to do it. Tessus is breaking them time and time again. Isaac had to turn that corner. He had to go for that fight. It's the only fight you know about, and you have no HP, so had to find that one quick and just so difficult to do. But you're exactly right. Tess is working these guys in the clutch situations. Good kill from Kixon. That was funny to me for some reason. It was just so awkward. But Shush handling business as well. And even though Volt's putting together some good frags, Heroic play that 2v2 just about perfect. Double figures for Heroic. Oh, this is this is sad for one of the most impressive factors of Gamer Legion through this run has been their T sides, how well it's been called, how well they've played tactically, and at the moment they have zero rounds on this offensive half. Despite coming so close to winning one, and that is Snacks trying to maneuver to get over the top of main, and it does not work out. They just lose him. And now their in-game leader must sit back and watch the four remaining screens of his teammates who are still alive. And Isaac is well. He's got himself that kill. Nertz could do nothing. Has to just fall away. But Tessis is still around that corner. And he's doing so much for Heroic right now. Kicksand could even be the elusive factor through the smoke. They don't predict this move. And Kicksand kicks into gear yet again. Volt and Acor kick to the side of the curb. And Kios has got his way through. They haven't detected him. This has to be a masterful clutch. And he assassinates both as they do not detect him. It's a sneaky play. He uses his stealth, but needs much more than that. Yeah, but Tessas is still alive. That's very true. And he hasn't made a mistake yet. He hasn't overstepped, and he's not even needed. Nikodos brings Kios down. And Heroic are walking towards that deciding matchup later today. A dominant CT side showing. If, if Gamer Legion can't establish any success outside, they're in trouble. They, Heroic has shown they could put a stop to these grouped up tactics towards ramp room, towards the upper bomb site. If you can't find some way to alleviate that pressure by getting kills in the outer yard, you're screwed. And from what we've seen so far, Gamer Legion really struggling in this disorganized chaos outside of smokes, molotovs, and nades of the different positions that they can't find it. Three rounds back now, it feels so much further away. They're struggling to find anything that works. Any opening maneuver, they've had a couple of different looks and none of them have found success here for Gamer Legion. The round that did start well did not finish in a fashion they'll be happy with. At the end of today, it might be Tessa that is in their nightmares. Kicks and crosses into main. He'll hold that position for the time being. But Game Religion, you can see, so tentative. They don't want to give up that early player. And Nikodos is starving for information, so he's taking position towards secret. And he'll pop his head up behind those smokes and gather what he can. I like this, though. This is a little bit slower from Gamer Legion, so they've dodged all the early utility. That. Look at Nikodos. They didn't expect it. Oh. So many liberties being taken by Heroic, and they're coming out on top of all of them. Yeah, they're so confident right now, and for good reason. They're winning every single fight. Gamer Legion have disappeared. 
And Snacks is coming back in, but it's got to be a massive clutch, and he just doesn't have it in him. It's so sad to see Gamer Legion fall this flat in the second half. Heroic up to map and series point. They're about to knock Gamer Legion out of the competition. That's Spodek disappearing from view for Gamer Legion. And it's disappeared so quickly, Jason. So convincingly as well. This has been such a dominant CT side from Heroic. And Gamer Legion started doing so well in this event that they likely built up some hope out of nowhere that they could make it to the playoffs. And this is a bucket of cold water splashed on their face. Haven't been able to get anything done on this T side of Nuke. Crossing over through the smokes towards Secret. Snacks is on the sprints, past Unbreakable. And he's got that kill on Nerds. Is there any more for Snacks? Flicks on down, the answer is no, but his teammates stepping up this time. Even trading, in fact, Better than that, Heroic or a player up, a player ahead, and this map's done. Any dreams of seeing Snacks in the Spodek are completely gone. He came close, he gave us a good showing, but it's Heroic that continue the Cinderella run. With limited expectations coming into the competition, they take out world number one, they now take out Gamer Legion, and the Spodek sweetheart is out of there. Just a core steps away. A couple of players left on the other side are low. Uh, th this is, this is, I mean, look, with the HP, it's kind of winnable, but the fact that he's so far oh, away this from could the bomb, work. yeah, might be able to find Tessas here. Oh. oh, just baiting out the shot, and there it is. Heroic closes out Gamer Legion. 13 to 8. Gamer Legion eliminated. Heroic moving on to play G2 later today, the winner of G2, Monty. And this Heroic team are looking exciting. Many people wrote them off, but the firepower, the tools that they've been given are looking solid, but